I'm autistic as shit. All right, guys. But welcome back to the Ghost Brick d viewer choice thing, my nub and nubbets. And we are going to go through the city because I just realized, I just, I just realized that I made a promise a while ago that a viewer brought up that I was going to take apart the city, which I'm keeping. The promise I didn't keep was I was going to show the buildings so you guys can pick and choose from them of what you want me to take apart. Now, I'm not the smartest, and I don't remember the names, but I'm going to make up names for them. And like like that one, that, that one all the way in the back, that's Big Dick Tower. So if you want to refer to that one, but we're going to get closer so we can choose, all right? So I have a theme park going, and I have a city going. Now, the city looks like crap, all right? But the theme park is fine. I just bought a new house, put stuff together, went on the back burner, probably should fix my stuff, all right? And I know I don't have a camera right now, and I'm using my phone, and I do apologize because eventually, if I get larger, I need to make better videos, and I'm not a great editor, but I, if, if you guys blow me up somehow, um, preferably uh, have the IRA do it with a car bomb, but if I if I blow up on YouTube though, you know the car bomb ones in Minecraft, you know just for safety reasons. Uh, if I blow up on YouTube though, and you guys help me out and get me there, first of all, I'm letting the viewers run my channel. I'm not a piece of shit like Logan Paul and KSI and James Charles and all that stuff. They have promotional managers that tell them what to do. Yeah, every once in a while there might be a cool product or something. Lego will reach out to me. He's like, can you do a video on this? Absolutely. But at the same time, I'm not getting ran by big multi-million dollar companies. I'm getting ran by you guys. And it will stay that way. And it is a promise I am more than willing to keep. All right. So we're going to start off with the theme park. Go to the city. And comments of what you want to see. All right. So we have ourselves a theme park here. And we have our roller coaster, which is brand new as of this year. It is called the Loop Roller Coaster. And it is... Is pretty sick. It's a big build. It goes all the way up, comes down, does a loop, comes around, does another loop, comes around, comes back in the station. This uh, this piece here drops all the way down and brings them right back up. So it is really cool. Don't know how I could take it apart, but I definitely can show you guys, you know, how it works. The Ferris wheel, probably not going to ever show off. Not really interested in. It's a Ferris wheel and it's part of the creator set. We got Benny from the Lego movie in there. The one I'm really excited to show off, though, I don't know if you can find it anymore in the Lego store, but it's the Lego Haunted Mansion, and it's pretty much the... A, it's a drop ride, kind of like the Tower of Terror from Disney World. As you can see, there's people here, and they drop all the way down to the ground floor. The interior of it, though, is just straight baller. It's got an awesome interior. The front gate here is in a Lego Creative set. Don't really have to show that off either, but that's what the entrance looks like if you're a really small person and we're able to walk in there. But we're not really small people and we're not able to walk in there because I don't want to give people hopes and dreams and then they blame me for the downfall of what they can and cannot do. Now, I'm not the person to say anything is impossible. You make that possible and I will put you in the theme park and run the rides for you and you better believe it'll be free because I will be impressed. All right, so with Honey, I Shrunk the Kids aside, let's move on to the city. So in the city, we have Birch's Bookstore. So this one building and this one building are the same set. So if you tell me I want to see them or see the Birch book, you're getting that one too. I like the way they look. They kind of look like, you know, full house. You know, the everywhere you go, everywhere. You know, they're showing off the city in the, in, you know, California. Those houses, pretty much the same stuff. This is brand new as of 2022. It is, I'm going to call it the Cuban Hotel here, um, or the, the, the Titty Hotel, because it kind of looks like a titty on top. This one, pretty dope. I've seen a lot of people not like it. I like it. think it's cool. It's pretty awesome. And they got a little, you know, a little art museum down below. And realize with the modular builds, every section comes apart. The roof comes off. This, sec this section would come off. This section would come off. And then that section would be the bottom, which does not come off. I can make it, but then it requires me to rebuild it. Not going to happen. All right, so we're going to move next to Assembly Corner right here. This one is not as newer, but you can still find it in the Lego store. All these you can find in the Lego store so far. This one, pretty cool. I like it. You got a coffee shop, your flower shop. You got your pastry and bakery shop here. Each one of these right through here 
are all shops except for the roof that's like a cafe type like little house thing deal going on that's an apartment i'm pretty sure but yeah the roofs um obviously the star wars are added figures but i'm sure if you complain to lego enough they might throw them into the set you should really you should really write them emails about that that's unacceptable not getting those anyway so we're gonna go over to ninjago the superman is not part of the set again same thing just email them about the superman i'm sure they'll send it to you um this one is one, by far one of the Legos that are cheaper per piece than most other Legos because it's the Lego brand. They own Ninjago and they can do what they want with Ninjago, which makes it cheaper. These ones also go way more expensive later on on eBay and Amazon. So if you like Ninjago, you want Ninjago, buy this now. I'm not kidding. It's a little pricey, but buy it now if you have the money to buy it. Um, you can just refer to this Ninjago Big Dick building. Um, anyway, so can I say that on YouTube? Y'all need to warn me of what I can't say on YouTube. I'm not really looking to get monetized that much, but I've seen other people say far worse. I think I'm fine. Anyway, so we have a Chinese New Year's garden. Um, can't put that there right now and bring up China because of the 80s. So I don't want my videos banned in China. God forbid China doesn't show my videos with their millions of people that aren't allowed to even get on YouTube. But if you guys from China somehow get onto YouTube... Um, cool that's kind of cool that you guys are kind of rebelling over there so anyway can i say that on youtube either i don't think i can but i'm kind of you know one of those people that believe in people's freedoms so anyway we have the police station here we have the doc we have doc brown we got marty mcfly they're not part of the set email uh you know just do the email they'll send them to you anyway um the razor crust is also not part of the set email them probably will send it to you um police station is pretty cool um these ones might be limited, and I know the Asian Garden, you know, festival one is not in stores anymore. The diner I took apart last time, 100% not in stores. This is the modular I do not like. I do not like the Daily Bugle. I think it is absolutely ugly but and tedious. Like, all the windows, everything looks the same on the outside. Kind of bothers me. Whatever. It's, I guess it's their go-to for Marvel stuff. Not that cool, but if you want me to take it apart, the interior is different on each floor, so that's up to you guys. I can definitely do that. But that is my Lego collection, guys. And, let me, and again, comment below what Legos you want to see. And I want you guys to add in the comment, what age do you start building Legos? Honestly, for me, it would be about like six, you know? I didn't start with Duplo. I started with like Lego Harry Potter, Lego Star Wars, all that stuff. It was a really cool, you know, start and... um I built big ever since I was younger. Like, it was like bigger Legos, 3,000 piece Legos. So, you know, if you can remember your first Lego set, my first one was the Life on Mars set. That one was dope with like the little pumps to shoot aliens out. That one was my first set. That was my actual first sets of Legos. If you remember your first sets, go ahead and put them. I have Johnny Thunder down there too somewhere. He was one of my first also. So, I was wrong about Harry Potter, wasn't I? Go ahead and comment that, the age that you started, the Legos that you remember building, like the first ones, and also comment the buildings you want to see me take apart. But I love you guys, and I promise, I made this promise, the viewers will run my channel. And this channel is going to be huge, all right? It's going to be huge. Um, I am currently building a wall around my theme park. Nobody gets in for free, all right? It's going to be a huge wall. I know a great guy, a great construction worker. It's Emmett from the Lego movie. He's a great guy. He is a great resource, and he knows many people. The wall will be built, and you know who's going to build the wall? The Stormtroopers. The Stormtroopers are going to build the wall. It's going to be huge, and my channel is going to get huge, and you guys are going to help me. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. I know I'm a pain in the ass, but... I love every single one of you, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bless y'all. See you later.